mentioned uh, his own teacher as well as Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. So Sheikh, I, with that, I want to ask you a question about uh, Pakistan, right? Now we're seeing uh, today uh, people have gathered, uh, it could be said millions of people on the streets of Pakistan right now. Uh, it's, it's Imran Khan is leading this march towards Islamabad. And so we know how the events unfolded with Pakistan facing the brunt for moving close to, uh, with their alliance with Russia and moving closer to this bloc. Uh, the popularly elected uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan was ousted by this US-led coup just because he wanted to forge his economic alliances with Russia that was offering oil and wheat at a 30% discounted price to Pakistan. But this obviously didn't go well with the US. So now as he plans to march, I mean, he must have reached already uh, Islamabad with millions of people demanding an election. How do you see it all playing out? What advice would you give to young Pakistanis who consider this a fight for their freedom uh, from Western new colonialism? And I mean, I've been hearing the speeches, they're, they're all so, you know, charged with what was Pakistan, uh, you know, created for? What was the Pakistan ka matlab kya? La ilaha illallah and all of that. And what would your advice be to young uh, Pakistanis? The enemy, and I choose my words carefully, the enemy wants to ensure that Imran Khan will never ever again rule over Pakistan. Never. Even if you have to provoke civil war on Pakistan has to break up, never mind. He must never again rule over Pakistan. He was dangerous for them before they removed him. But now that they removed him, he's far more dangerous to them. So what will they do? Their, their favorite weapon is assassination. They did that with Liaquat Ali Khan. They did that with, with Zia Ul Haq. They did that with Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. And they will try to do it again with Imran Khan. Assassination. And if assassination does take place, they don't care the consequences of civil war in the country. They want him out. The second thing they will do is to try to postpone the elections and postpone the elections using whatever crooked means they can do it to postpone the elections. Because they know once an election is held, they're finished. They're finished. And <coughs> the third thing they will do is to try to engage in what is known as character assassination. Dig up whatever dirt you can dig up against him. When Ayatollah Khomeini was shaking the throne in Tehran, they even started declaring he was a homosexual. <laughs> yes, he, he never bothered to, he never bothered to re even respond to the rubbish which was coming, character assassination. And also in addition to character assassination, they will try to get legal cases against him and get a compliant secure Supreme Court to, to assist them in trying to debar him from any future elections. All of these roads are going to end in futility for them. This is not going to succeed, no. Uh, provided that Allah keeps him alive, he does not die. Then there is a future lying in a wait for Pakistan, which will be similar to that of Iran and the Shah. Inshallah. Inshallah, mashallah, that's, that's uh, optimistic yeah. there.